Hello everybody. Today we are <coughs> working on the sign test from chapter 11, section 1. This is in the e-text from your My Math Lab account. So when you go to your My Math Lab, uh, look on the left-hand side, at least that's if you have a Mac, and you look for the spot that says e-text, e click on that. You might have to allow your pop-ups to uh, let the e-text uh, appear. Then go to chapter 11 and then all of the text is actually in there even though you don't have it in your book. You'll need access to table 8 um, at the back of the book and it's called uh, the critical values for the sign test. So we're going to do on page 586 try it yourself number 1 and when you're doing the sign test, the basic idea is that every value that's above, you give it a positive, and every value that's below, you give it a negative, and every, but every value that's the same as the proposed median, you give it a zero. You count your total numbers of positives and negatives. That's going to be your n. You, dis you discard or ignore all of the zeros, and you let your x, your test statistic, uh, I'm sorry, X, your test statistic, be less, uh, I'm sorry, be the smaller of the two uh, values between the number of positives or the number of negatives. So, I wrote it all up nice and neat. So, try it yourself, number one. When you're looking at this, you're going to see the null and the alternative and I need to introduce a new value to you or a new parameter to you and it's mu tilde. Right there is mu tilde. That's the median. So right now the median is either less than or equal to 120 or the median is greater than 120 and when you read through the problem you'll see that that's the claim. So what I've done is I've looked at each one of the data points in the table that's attached to the problem. And if it's above 120, I gave it a plus. If it's below 120, I gave it a minus. And then if it's the same, I gave it a zero. And I did it from left to right, and I tried to match the table uh, number for number. Our alpha uh, is sorry, 0.025. And when you look at the table, you're looking at table 8, it's a one-tailed test. The reason that it's a one-tailed test is because it's a greater than symbol. If it was a less than symbol in the alternative, it would also be a one-tailed test. Our n is 23 because there are 23 positives and negatives. The 24th is a 0, so we just disregard it. And our alpha is 0.025. So I'm talking about right here. Now, when you look it up on table 8, you'll find that your critical value is 6. And in the table, it actually has a moment or a spot that says, reject the null hypothesis when the test statistic is equal to or less than. So you want to make sure that you read that, because it tells you what you're supposed to do. Traveling on up, we get an x of 6. We have 6 positive values. So if you count your number of pluses, you got one, you got two, you got three, then over here is your four, your five, and your six. So our x is six. Um, it is the smaller of the number of positives or negatives. Okay, again, our n's 23 because there's 23 things that aren't the zero. So that means we are going to reject the null. Ah. Let me get this back in screen, sorry. Let's reject the null. Alpha's 0.025 and and we would say sufficient evidence to support the claim, and then we'd restate the claim. But again, um, I'm not adverse to you just saying, hey, it's sufficient if it's sufficient to support the claim, or insufficient if it's insufficient evidence to support the claim. Hopefully that's helpful. Thank you, and I will talk to you later.